Okay. Now, the second drama book, which is a non-African drama, is Othello, written by William Shakespeare. Now, if you remember last week, I said that Othello and Otranto have similar features. That Otranto, uh, or the um, Lord of Otranto, got some of the features of William, some of the features of William Shakespeare's storyline, and put it in his own book. It's also available in um, Otranto, just such as the use of cartoon, use of laws, um, eye class, war laws, love, and war. The same thing we can find in Othello. Othello, in this case, is not a comedy. Unlike his to to conquer, Othello is a tragedy. It's a tragedy. It's also based on love and weakness of a love of a person of high caliber in the society by the name of Othello. Now, the storyline is this. Othello is in love with Desdemona. And Desdemona is in love with Othello. Brabantio is the father of Desdemona. He, she is, ag he is against the union of Othello and Desdemona. Believe that Othello had used a sham to draw his daughter's love to himself. Meanwhile, Desdemona only loved Othello for who he is. The law was natural. Now, eventually the government, he called him to court and they had a meeting and it was concluded that the law of fear is fair. But there is someone, Othello also, who he happens to be a law, law word. He has seven, the name of Iago and Cassio. Cassio, he appointed Cassio as the second in command. Iago has been serving him for years, so Iago got jealous. And got angry that how could Othello pick someone like Cassio over him? He had been believing that he was going to be the second in command, that Othello was going to choose. Meanwhile, Cassio is more learned than Iago. So that got Iago going. He began plotting. He plotted the revenge on Othello. His mind is he wanted to rejoin Othello's disloyalty to his own service to him for years. So he started using words, words of different way, in different ways. He turned Othello's heart towards Cassio and Desdemona. Whenever Cassio and Desdemona are together, he made Othello believe that Cassio is having a love chat with Desdemona. Othello made Amartya. Now, Amartya in literature is his weakness. It means a character's main weakness that makes him fall, that makes him go downstream. So, Othello's main Amartya is, is jealousy. He has jealous rage. Jealous rage that cannot be quenched. He became so jealous and hungry. He was not thinking right. He accepted everything Iago said about Desdemona. Now, Iago also happens to know that Othello gave Desdemona a handkerchief that, that uh, determines the love he has for Desdemona. He knows that Othello holds that handkerchief in high esteem. So he worked on his wife, Emilia. He worked on his wife, Emilia, who happens to be the servant to Desdemona that Emilia should make, find a way to get the handkerchief for him. Emilia asked him what he wanted to use it for, but he ignored her request. One day, fortunately for Emilia, Desdemona left the handkerchief. Left the handkerchief on the floor. Desdemona, so Emilia picked it and was happy that she was able to get what her husband wanted, although she doesn't know his intention for requesting for that handkerchief, and so she gave it to Iago. Iago, in another way, stylishly, 
went to Cassio's place and planted the handkerchief there. So when Othello saw the handkerchief with Cassio, he believed that indeed Cassio had been having a love affair with a wife, Desdemona. Can you see the trickishness of Iago, a trusted servant of um, Othello, and how he plotted everything? So, Othello, in his own way too, because of the anger that had risen so much in him, decided to kill his enemies. That is Desdemona and Cassio, said they were disloyal to him. So he plotted how he was going to kill his wife. Iambo was also the only one that told him that he would help him to kill Cassio. He also plotted how some people were going to kill Cassio at the, uh, at the fight in town. Unfortunately, Cassio was only wounded. He didn't die, and he wounded the person that was supposed to kill him. He just twisted the whole deal around. Eventually, Othello killed his wife in the room. It was after he had killed Desdemona that he realized, Emilia was the one that realized, that, that, that found, that revealed the truth, that she was the one that gave the handkerchief to Iago. Eventually, Iago was arrested, but he eventually stabbed, uh, uh, well, in retaliation for his distrust for his wife, Othello stabbed himself and killed himself while Iago stabbed his wife for revealing the truth. Now, can you see the trickishness of human mind, the bestiality of human mind towards love? This book is trying to show us that love can make women to do inhuman things, can make them to go beyond what they should do. So, Othello, written by William Shakespeare, is a tragedy. Now, what do I want you to do? I want you to go through all the characters. The characters in the person of Desdemona, Oosh, Desdemona, Oosh, she, Othello, the main hero, Iago, eh? the tricky person, Cassio, Brabantio, Brabantio, and Rodrigo, Emilia, what is her part? In bringing down, in, 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 in the downfall of Desmona, a part in Desmona's downfall. And every other little character we have. Now, to cap it all, that we have, what, uh, what I've been treating this morning, we have, today we have been treating the non-African drama, which is Chitil Tutonga and Othello. One is comedy, one is a tragedy. One talks about love too. Love and the web surrounding love. How human beings try to twist situations to their own wish and eventually not being able to achieve it, but all things being resolved in a good way. Now, for Othello, it's a tragedy because Othello eventually died. He took his life and took the life of his wife, whom he thought was disloyal and um, adulterous to their marital vow and their love vow. So you have to compare both, and then you have to look at this um, similarities. Both are treating love. But how is love treated here? How is love treated here? What is the hand of love in Shostak to conquer? What is the hand of the love adventures of the the characters in Othello. Now, what brought about the resolution of conflict in Shustus to Conquer and what brought about the resolution of conflict in Othello? So you have to let me that our that assignment. Now our assignment is consider the element that brought about the resolution of conflict of conflict in one she took to conquer and two or ten. That 
brings us to the end of the class for today. Please stay safe in your homes and please keep revising. The Lord will be with us. Good day.